Hey YouTube, here I am again with another exciting uh, Tales from the Night Before. So I just got home last night. Uh, we went bounty hunting and I'm, I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to try to keep my thought process going here. Bear with me. Anyway, last night was pretty uneventful. Uh, we were looking for this guy uh, and we only got to work one file because we, there was going to be a lot of road time involved in this file. Uh, we probably put a little over 300 miles in all in all last night working this one file. Uh, we knew that before we left, so that's just the way it goes sometimes. And we actually left the office not expecting to find the guy, which spoiler alert we didn't find the guy but what well, what we do a lot of times with files when we first get them is is intel gathering you know we we do what research we can on the computer from the office we make what phone calls we can and we gather information that way then we go out knocking on doors gathering information and then we take all the information and kind of you know, it gives us, it, we paint a big picture and then we start taking the information that we put together through all these different resources and we start narrowing down, you know, uh, possibilities and probabilities. You know, when we're looking for somebody, we, we get a lot of information. Most of the information is useless, but we may pull a, a little piece of information from the computer databases then a little piece of information from a phone call and then a little piece of information from somebody that we had a actual conversation with and we start connecting the dots and putting together the probabilities and eliminating the possibilities so right now on this particular file we're still in the we have more possibilities than probabilities stage of the file. We, we did all our computer research. Now we went out and talked to people. Uh, the, this guy lives in a pretty small community and uh, everybody knows who he is. And anytime you deal with a small community, you run the risk of people being more likely to help the person that you're looking for than to help you. But you can always find that one person that either doesn't like the guy or is willing to do the right thing because they know the person is in the wrong guy or girl either way but last night we were in one of those small communities talking to a few people uh we actually knocked on one door woke the people up and we were really reluctant to do that because i i don't like disturbing people that um are sort of connected to the person i'm looking for but we know that they're not real connected to them they just might have some information but we're sort of running against a dead end with this so we had to do something so the guy came out and talked to us. He was more than willing to talk to us, more than willing to help. And, you know, he was super cool about everything. And he actually gave us some good information, but um, he didn't really know the guy that we were looking for that well. But we were, be, we were able to kind of connect a couple of dots based on the information that he did give us. You know, a lot of times when we're looking for people, uh, they can be very transient. You know, we uh, a lot of people that are running from the law or just people that have a, uh, a natural, <laughs> like, flightiness to them. Uh, they, you know, they might be here in Mississippi for a little while or they might be in another state for a little while until they get in trouble, then they go to another state. We deal with that a lot in this business. And this person that we're looking for, uh, while he has roots here in Mississippi, he also has ties in other states. And it kind of helped us uh, connect those dots. Like, 
what ties he has in other states and what states those may be. So that's what last night was all about. But we did uh, run into a, a cow in the road. And, you know, for those of you who know, I own horses. And from time to time, uh, one of my horses is a little escape artist. And she likes to get out and people usually stop and help or they'll call and say hey you know when your horses is out or they'll try to put the horse back up for me and I felt that it was my duty as a fellow um, large animal owner to stop and try and see if I could figure out what house the cow belonged to and go up and knock on the door and say hey uh, your cow's out and we found the the cow owner and he was actually already outside he didn't and he he didn't seem too concerned about it he was like yeah she gets out she has a spot but she doesn't move past that uh, ditch line that she's in she does it every every night she'll go back in when she's ready we're like hmm, okay the cow actually wound up not being his but being his uncles which they all live on the same land pretty common around here but uh that that was really the only interesting thing that happened last night other than that i apparently uh ate something i shouldn't have and it turned into a a, a rough ride so i'm <laughs> glad to be home and very tired about to lay down that was probably too much information. Anyway, that's all for now. Then the bondsman signing out. And also, um, I know I just said signing out, but like I said, I'm tired. My brain is only operating at half speed. Um, I'm going to be putting videos out that are um, context, in context of, you know, certain subject matters along with these videos. And, you know, I, I know that the, the whole YouTube rule is to put things out on a schedule, but I'm just not that organized and I don't have that kind of time. So if you guys watch for videos that aren't labeled uh, vlog, those are going to be videos that have content that are about s specific subject matter. Anyway, now that's all for now. Ben the Bondsman signing out. And remember, Bell Bonding isn't what we do, it's who we are.